Dear learners, welcome back. In today's presentation on chapter wise important questions for final exam. So as I earlier said in previous video, that is part one video, we have seen the important chapter wise questions and points of the first six chapters. Okay. So in this presentation, we are going to see the remaining six chapters, important questions and points. So let us begin with our today's presentation. So this we have seen in previous uh, presentation also, there are total 12 uh, chapters in pharmaceutics to uh, first six I have covered in my previous video. You can refer that video. Uh, now in this presentation, uh, we are going to see the next six chapters that is semi solid dosage forms in that suppositories and pastries, then solid dosage forms, then sterile dosage forms, then ophthalmic products, dental and cosmetic preparations and incompatibilities in prescriptions. So let us start with our today's presentation. So the first is the uh, chapter that we are going to see today is the semi solid dosage forms that is suppositories and pastries. So which are the important points or the uh, question for uh, your final exam point of view okay for both theory and practical so suppository suppositories definition is important definition then types of suppositories then the properties of ideal suppository base okay these are the important points then next important point is the advantages and disadvantages of suppositories then the question may be asked uh, what are the limitations of theobroma oil as a suppository base okay so this one is also important then next is the suppository basis okay classification of suppository basis then you can maybe ask the compare and contrast between or the differentiate between the suppositories and pastries so these are the important points and the question will be asked uh, for your final exam okay as you perform the suppositories for both theory and you are performing it in practical also so you should know all these points okay now uh, the next important point is the displacement value okay you should know the definition of displacement value you should know the calculations of displacement value so basic formula for displacement value calculation you should know that uh, by referring that you can uh, calculate the dv okay or uh, different problems okay then next is the suppository calculations look displacement value calculation is different and suppository calculation is different so you should focus on these also okay then from practical point of view you should know the uh, suppository uh, information about the suppository mold okay then how to lubricate the mold and how to calibrate the mold suppository mold okay so these are the important points from this chapter it is suppositories and pastries so the next chapter is the solid dosage forms that is powder okay now in this chapter what are the important points you should focus on is the definition of powder and advantages of powder and disadvantages of powder okay then the next important point is the types of powders okay then the next point which is important that is effervescent granules see you are uh, performing these powders also in practicals also so these basic things you should know that it will be helpful for you from your theory as well as practical point of view okay then next important point you should focus for most important point Okay, from your uh, final exam point of view is the catch it's okay question may be uh, asked on this okay then next is the mixing of powders okay then tablet triculates then the next point is dentifrices okay so these are the important points from this uh, chapter and next uh, question may be asked on dispensing or how you will dispense the eutectic mixtures or the hygroscopic substance I have given, given some examples potent drugs explosive substances and volatile substance so these questions on these points may be asked uh, for your final exam okay so the next chapter is the sterile dosage form okay now uh, in this chapter what are the questions that may be asked important questions from the uh, exam point of view that is the advantages and disadvantages of parental products okay then next question uh, which is the name the various steps involved in manufacturing of parental products then uh, explain control over personnel to be exercised during manufacturing of parentals then the next uh, important question is the what is 
particulate matter okay what are its sources various sources what is its significance then explain the methods for detection of particulate matter so this is an important point and important question then next question uh, is the what is principle behind sterility testing okay and then describe the methods of sterility testing in detail then the next important question is the name any four tests used for evaluation of parenteral preparations now the next uh, important point in this chapter is the total parenteral nutrition then next is the dialysis fluid and very very important point is the pyrogen test okay describe the rabbit test for pyrogen so uh, in this chapter these are the important points and question may uh, questions are uh, important these are the important questions and the next chapter is the ophthalmic products okay now in this chapter uh, the important questions are the define eye drops okay explain the properties of ideal eye drops and the next question is the essential characteristics of ophthalmic preparations okay then next question is the give reason uh, maybe ask that eye drops should be sterile and isotonic with lacrimal fluid okay you should you should give the reason then next is the comment on containers and labeling of eye drops and the next important uh, point is the contact lens solutions so these are the important questions uh, in this chapter that is ophthalmic products then the next chapter is the dental and cosmetic preparations okay now in this chapter the four most important point uh, an interesting point okay uh, is the shampoo okay shampoo what you should know about shampoo the definition of shampoo classification of, uh, classification of shampoo then formulation of shampoo then ideal qualities of shampoo okay so this is the important point from your final exam point of view okay then next is the what are deodorants and antiperspirants and how are these formulated then the next question is the define the term dentifrices name the various formulation additives giving example and what are ideal qualities of dentifrices then the next question is the describe the term epilation depilation and electrolysis then the next question is the what is lipstick give the ideal characteristics formula and method of preparation of lipstick then the next important question is the differentiate between or the compare and contrast between the lather shaving cream and brushless shaving cream then the next question important question is the give desirable properties of an ideal face powder now apart from that some of the definition is uh, which are uh, important from my point of view uh, for your final exam uh, are the mascara cold cream eyebrow pencil hair conditioner rouge and vanishing cream see i have told you in the previous video my uh, of this part one video of this important questions uh, or that whenever there is a definition is asked you should back up with the examples same is applicable here now the next chapter is the incompatibilities in prescriptions so what are the important points or uh, questions in this uh, chapter that is the definition of incompatibility and types of incompatibility then next question is the what are various types of physical incompatibility discuss them with suitable method of correction then the next question is the what do you mean by tolerated and adjusted incompatibility give one example of each then the next uh, question is the define the term therapeutic incompatibility explain the reasons for therapeutic incompatibility with example okay then the next important question is the explain Heraphthite reaction for quinine, or it is also known as iodosulfite of quinine. So apart from this, uh, some of you may be given uh, some uh, prescription, and you may be asked report the incompatibility if any in the following prescription and suggest a suitable method to correct it. So these are some of the prescription examples. So here it is asked how will you dispense the following prescription then the next is indicate 
the incompatibility in the following prescription and suggest the method of dispensing it here what you have to indicate whether this uh, incompatibility is a physical chemical or a therapeutic okay and you should suggest a suitable method of dispensing it then next is the how will you dispense the following prescription so these types of uh, prescription may be given and you, uh, you may be asked to identify the type of incompatibility and suggest a suitable method okay as we know there are three types of incompatibilities mean physical chemical and therapeutic incompatibility so uh, i hope you all have understand uh, understood the uh, important questions for the pharmaceutics to subject uh, from the final exam point of view for theory as well as practical so do your best uh, and if you like this video press like button and uh, subscribe to my youtube channel to get latest updates and videos thank you for your patience listening and all the best for your exam do your best keep learning